I first met Alan at our Bible study, actually. One of our friends, Logan, had met him at church, invited him to come hang out with us because he found out that he had just started going to UT Arlington. And so I met him there, and my initial reaction was, man, this guy's gonna fit in so well. He had such a good sense of humor, uh, and he made us all laugh right away. And so my first, in, like, my initial thought of him was, he's gonna be a great fit for our, for our group of people. As a person, Alan was a man of God. Everything that he did in his life was about serving God in his faith. Uh, he was so involved in Bible studies and church and serving other people. I, I think that's a good word to describe. He had a servant's heart. My favorite memory of Alan is the compilation of every single time that he led worship at our Bible studies. Uh, he was so musically gifted in the guitar and in the piano, and he was learning the drums. And every single time that we had Bible study or every single time that we had a group hangout, Alan would go find an instrument and start playing music and the whole room would, uh, would just gather around him as he led us in song and in prayer and those are, those are my favorite memories of Alan. I first met him before school even started uh, for InterVarsity, uh, the campus fellowship. Uh, he uh, came to one of the first meetings that we had. Uh, first time meeting him, brand new, <laughs> and actually the first time that I, I met him he just couldn't stop making jokes. Uh, and he was just like, I mean, that's, that's how I came to know him. Someone who is really passionate about people, loves people, is really serious about his faith, but also loves to have a good time. I always miss his attitude. He always had a positive attitude, no matter you know, when in the year we were, during exams, um, whenever the semester is getting hard, and uh, always had a smile on his face and always was around to make sure we had smiles on our faces. It'll be different, and it'll take time to get used to. It's, we're going to miss his music. We're going to miss his sarcastic humor and all his jokes. Or, there's definitely a light in the world that, that is no longer here, but I think that we've all been inspired by who he is, that we all are motivated to keep that up and to be a light that he was to other people.